to all my listeners in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us turn to Psalm 120 for today's small devotion. The topic is Pilgrim Journey. In this world of strife and sorrow, Christ is all to me. Here we see the plea from the psalmist for relief from bitter enemies. He is very much helpless as he becomes a victim of slander. A believer usually faces this kind of experiences in life. Lies and false accusations go around the world faster than the truth. Persecutions against believers keep on rising in different forms and sizes. Wherever we turn, it is evil. Evil words and actions of humiliation and frustration surround us. In workplaces and elsewhere, especially evil talks, surround our life. There is no way of escape. To live holy and peaceful in this wicked world is not easy. Beloved sisters, even if a believer can close our eyes and ears to all this evil, still the evil spreads like wildfire. And we will be caught in the middle of it, living among the ungodly, who has no fear of the Lord is like living as a lamb among the wolves. Luke's Gospel 10 verse 3 There is certainty of vulnerability in the midst of persecution. If we are really for Christ, persecution is guaranteed. This evil can devour us anytime unless we totally depend on God and cry out to our Lord Jesus for his intervention and for his help. This is what exactly the psalmist is doing here in this psalm. He comes to the Lord with a simple and specific request for deliverance from deceitful tongue of pagans, the ungodly people. False tongue will face judgment from God. The deceitful tongue will be judged harshly by God, as in the fire. Psalmist is forced to stay in the midst of his enemies, his miserable life among a generation of cruel and merciless people, barbarians who hate peace. They cause him great, unbearable mental trauma. His pain, his traumatic life experience, he takes all to the Lord, not taking any revenge upon the enemies. He speaks kindly to these enemies, but they are for war against him. That is what we read here. The psalmist is showing Christ-like character. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 5, verse 9, we read, Blessed are the peacemakers. May we as believers, while trying to live a godly life in this ungodly world, be more wise. With the wisdom from the word of God and take our burdens to the Lord in prayer. As children of God, it's our great privilege that we have the freedom to come before our Father, the Most Holy God. May we not do evil for evil. May we guard our tongue and leave the situation in our Lord's hand. May we take everything to the Lord in prayer and show Christ-like characters to our enemies. Let's not go weary or disappointed, but stay strong in our faith, not provoking the enemies, but in all meekness and gentleness. Let our words and actions bring Honor to our Lord's name. Proverbs 21 verse 8 we read, A man is known by his actions, an evil man by his evil actions, a good man by his godly actions. Let the light in us shine so bright that others, even our enemies may see our godly life and the name of our Lord Jesus will be glorified in and through our life. In every situation, even in the midst of persecutions. Our pilgrim journey here on earth is filled with obstacles. We shall overcome every one of them with Christ living in us. He shall fight for us. Amen.